it's time for the Run and Shoe Bargains of February 2021. Hey guys, Ed Bud here. Time for some running shoe bargains for 2021. With that Kenyan version of the Alpha Fly sat on the virtual shelves, which I'm not really that surprised about, it's very clear that people want value. I mean, offering the same shoe up in a slightly different colour for a £5 premium, really? That's not value, is it? Bargains is what people want this time of year, and I'm here to oblige. First up, Nike have got the Pegasus 36 Trail Gore-Tex. That model's down to about £90. I reckon that represents better value than buying the Pegasus Trail 2, perhaps. Just seems like a more nimble shoe. I know Andy, the FOD runner, really liked the Pegasus 36 Trail. Maybe you can get it even cheaper if you tap in one of those discount codes. I think the black, orange and thunder grey model looks pretty decent actually and most of the sizes are available so you know what to do. Dual air units in the heel and the midfoot with some real beast like talons on the outsole. Could be good for some forest frolics and some muddy mayhem. Just make sure you take them off before you go back in the house. The very popular, but sadly bit of a dud for me, Pegasus 37 has been reduced. That's down to 73 Earth credits now over on the Nike website. I think it presents pretty good value. Some people really enjoyed that shoe. I think it was just me. Maybe I just got a duff model. Maybe I just got a reject one or something, I don't know. Perhaps a shoe for all occasions, Aside from if you were getting married, or maybe like a christening or something, I don't think it's appropriate for that. The Grey Fog, Smoke Grey and Vault version looks rather fetching. There's also a black, laser, crimson and olive variant. I don't think I've ever said those words in a sentence before. Lots of small and very large sizes available, and there's a decent discount, so give them a whirl. Reebok have got a few colorways of the fantastic Run Fast 2 still available. I think they're between about 70 to 76 pounds. Although in fairness, I have seen them a little cheaper on, I think it was Start Fitness. So do go over there and check those out. But with Reebok, you can always find some code to reduce it by some massive amount. So do search around a little bit. Do some sleuthing, guys. The Run Fast 2 upper still does it for me over the Run Fast 3. It's just a better fitting upper, if you ask me. That Runfast 3 has got a more modern mesh, and the Runfast 2 just felt a little bit more old school. But either one's got some super nimble properties. They're certainly going to make you want to push things a little harder. Only a few left though, guys, so don't delay. They got a few of the Energy 2s in stock as well. Not in the superb dad colorway that I've got here in much better colorways. I think there's even one you can personalize as well by adding like your name or numbers or something onto it. Never seen that before. Well, I think it's only on a few Reebok shoes. Only smaller sizes left though, so the Bigfoots are not catered for. 59 Earth credits, but they're also excluded from other discounts, so do bear that in mind. All of the Energy 2s are almost extinct now. Do again head over to Start Fitness because they've got a few left. Adidas still have lots of pairs of the SL20 left in the classic black, white and orange colorway. Is it orange or is it pink? What do you think, Beast? I can't remember. I think it might be pink, but if I'm wrong, I'll punish myself by watching an extra episode of Father Brown tonight. Those are on sale at £70, but again, if you're shrewd, you can always find another discount code. You can get those down and make them even better value. I really love the SL20. I just think they completely fouled it up with the SL20.2. It shouldn't bear its name. I don't think it's any anything like it. Still really sore about that, silly people. Why don't they listen to the runners? Listen to the people who like the shoe. It's like a Turbo 2, isn't it? They're gonna get rid of that. Really gets my goat. I'm pretty sure there's some Turbo 2s on Nike's website that are reduced down to about 90 pounds. That's worth the throw, definitely. If you want some Zoom X, go for that one. New Balance have reduced their original version of the Rebel somewhat. That original Rebel in cobalt blue. I think that's now about £84. It seems to fluctuate everywhere. A great looking pace shoe and ideal for those looking for a more minimal racer. Lots of sizes still available across the board of this fuel cell favourite. Again, Start Fitness got in there and they got some cheaper prices on that one. I think they're about £70. Only select sizes though, which is a bit of a downer. Another mega light option is the 1500 V6 from New Balance. That one's reduced to only £60 on the New Balance website. Only smaller and larger sizes available again, but hey, we don't all have size 10 feet, do we? A Revlite midsole in that one. I haven't tried that. 
Apparently it's a little bit more responsive, not quite as squashy. I guess maybe closer to Phylon, if you've ever worn a Phylon shoe from Nike. It does remind me of that Streak 7 in many ways, actually, that shoe. I enjoyed that Ultra Ride from Puma that I tried out a little while back. Need to get back out on that one again. Very unique shoe, just some really interesting design ideas there. Start Fitness have got the Ultra Ride from Puma reduced to only 50 Earth credits right now. It's got that weird midsole propulsion plate, almost like a catapult in the middle of the shoe. Reminds me a bit of the Jordan 35, is that the latest one? I found that Ultra Ride really snappy shoe actually. I think people that wear it will suddenly realise that Puma are quite underrated. You know, just because he hasn't got a swoosh or three stripes on it, or a bird, you know, you've got to try these other shoes out. Give them a whirl. At that price, I think it's worth it. If you're into super nimble, low-to-the-ground shoes, the Adidas RC2 might be worth a shot. Even I'm tempted to pick one up, although I've got a really light Adidas racing shoe to try out, so I can only buy so many shoes. Said no one ever. At 50 Earth credits, you've still got that torsion plate in the midsole. There's a 10mm drop, very much making the RC2 a race day option for me. Only 24mm of stack in the heel. Could be a really great cheaper pickup for someone that's looking for a super fast 5k shoe. It weighs next to nothing as well. Well, I mean, if you compare it to Beast, it weighs next to nothing. It says that this one's got bounce foam with like a cage of light strike in it. So it's very similar to the SL20, but just a bit lighter, I suppose. Can you resist? Can you? Can you? Last but not least, over at sportshoes.com, they finally reduced the New Balance 1080 V10. Seems there's quite a few of the women's size still available in a multitude of different colorways that actually are better than the men's colorway. Sounds like my baby son Fergus is very interested in this one because he's being very, very loud. You know what they say, never work with children or animals. And I have to work with both. I think my wife might say that about me though as well. And just as I said that, Beast knocked the whole camera over. So a really great midsole and outsole combo in the 1080 V10. It's got the chops to go the long distance, but also do some everyday type stuff too. A good daily warrior, you could say. People always say a daily warrior. Makes it sound like it's gonna be quite tough on the foot. I find the 1080 series anything but. As I say, lots of different colorways there. I do like the black and white version though. It does look almost like a dinner suit. Dinner suit? Dinner jacket, that's what I meant. Just looks on point. The sort of thing you could wear to a wedding or a christening maybe. I think the red, grey and pink variant looks probably the best out of all of those that sports shoes have got discounted right now. Okay, cats and kittens. That's pretty much all of the top discount shoes that I've found recently. If you've got any more good ones, put them in the comments below. Help a runner out. A quick musical interlude for you. An album that's timeless, it just never gets old. You can listen to it over and over again is The Travelling Wilburys. I'm a big fan of the first album, perhaps not so much of the second one. It was kind of a little bit sad because Roy Orbison had passed away and it felt like the mixture wasn't quite the same as it was in the first album. I really like the up-tempo rock and roll of Rattled. That's a really great tune. And the George Harrison sung Heading for the Light is also a top track. Every single one of the stars is on form here. I mean, you've got Tom Petty, George Harrison, Roy Orbison, Jeff Lynne, Bob Dylan. I mean, you just can't live can you with those guys there's such a wealth of different tunes on here as well different styles different sort of sentiments it really is worth checking out go and listen to the traveling will breeze you won't be disappointed like cats and kittens i'm all tuckered out thanks for sticking with me to the end hope you've enjoyed the video today if you've enjoyed yourself and you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when i launch those new videos it really helps the channel out too if you give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.